Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, in today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price, we're also gonna have a look quickly into Ethereum because Ethereum right now is looking extremely bullish and is leading the market in my opinion and at the end we're also gonna have a look into the DXY and Nasdaq. So let's start actually in the CME chart here for the Bitcoin price because we have some news. We have now a new CME gap up to $60,000. So we closed on Friday here this CME chart at around $60,000. And I told you my friends, if we are not retracing back on Monday to this level as soon as the CMEs are starting again, that we're gonna have a new CME gap and most of the times they will get filled very quickly. So the only problem that we have right now is that we still have this other one over here down at $54,000. So the big question right now is are we going first down to fill this gap over here and then move on towards 60k and potentially go towards new all time highs or are we going first here up to close this gap here at $60,000 and then maybe continue to go higher or here then getting another rejection and then continuation down again towards the support that we have here at around $54,000 and also where we have this other CME gap which is also quite new. So this of course is the big question for now my friends and I still think that most likely we first at least are going up to close this gap at 60k and then see if we're going to see follow through to the upside because I'm still leaning more to the bullish side that here we're going to have a big breakout to the upside and move on towards new all time highs before we are going down to close all of these gaps that we have below of us. So if we go now back to the spot chart and have a look here into the four hour time frame, you can see that we are quite oversold here, but money flow is still positive and we are still trading above this support here at around $56,800. And if we break it down into the one hour time frame, it looks like that here we might form a W pattern, which of course is a very bullish pattern and usually indicate that we here we're gonna see a follow through to the upside if we are able to create this double bottom formation and of course also break out from this resistance that now we could have here at around $59,500. This is the previous support trend line here which could be acting now as a new resistance and this is also the place where we have right now this new CME gap. So in my opinion it is very likely that here we're gonna go up to test the 60k and then of course also close the CME gap and here is where we're gonna see if we are able to see follow through to the upside or not. And that's why I still have some longs opened here in case at first maybe we are coming down to close the CME gap at $54,000. So I have orders down to $54,000 and if they get executed, I definitely gonna have a nice position because in that case we most likely then are coming up to then afterwards also close the CME gap at 60K and then see here if we're gonna see follow through to the upside or not. So in my opinion, even though we could even go down first to 54K, I think that 60K will be tested very, very soon, at least during this week, and then hopefully also have a big breakout to the upside. Because in theory, we are still in an uptrend, especially in the bigger time frames. So if we go over here into the daily time frame, you can see that we are still within this ascending triangle. And I told you my friends that we can stay in this triangle here for some more days and weeks maybe, but within one or two weeks, we have to see here a breakout to the upside. Otherwise we are in danger that we could lose here this main support currently at around $54,000. And therefore then we're gonna see a big sell off here, probably down towards these previous supports that we had here between 40 to 30k to then accumulate again more bitcoin to maybe then start a consolidation phase and then move on towards new all-time highs way above the levels that we are in right now because in my opinion the bull run will take place at least for the whole year of 2021 but of course on the way to our cycle top we always gonna see bigger pullbacks and you always want to be ready to buy the dip once they happened but so far everything is looking like that here very soon we're gonna see continuation to the upside in my opinion we are still above the 20 daily moving average which right now it's also lining here perfectly at our main support here at the point 
236 Fibonacci retracement from these price actions that we had in the last couple of weeks and you can see that this here this level at around $56,700 has a lot of significance and we shouldn't start to close daily candles below this important price level otherwise we could easily fall down again towards this support here at $54,000 where we have the CME gap and also where the main support and the 50 daily moving average is lining up. So even though we could even fall down towards 54K, I still think that here very, very soon we're gonna see new all-time highs and we are still in an uptrend here in the daily. And also if we go over into the weekly time frame, you can see that we are still in this consolidation here and even in the weekly time frame you can see this ascending triangle that is forming here and if we do here a measurement of the potential target here in case that we're going to see a successful breakout to the upside so let's say that we're going to break out on the 12th of april this would take us towards our adk target which also in my yesterday's video i told you my friends that we most likely going to see targets between 75 to 100k if we are able to see here a successful breakout to the upside and also take out this potential resistance that we have at the time of recording here at around $67,000. So this previous support, which now could be acting as a new resistance. So of course, this trend line is also week by week going higher. So that means that this resistance is also going higher if we're gonna see here a successful breakout to the upside. So once we are breaking out, then of course we're gonna have to see where this trend line is lining up because in my opinion, that could be then acting as a very strong resistance. So last week it was here at around $67,000 and this week it's lining up here at around $70,000. So this, in my opinion, could be still a very strong resistance. And once we are testing it, then we're going to see if here we're going to see follow through to the upside and an explosive move towards our bullish targets up to 100K. Or if here maybe we're going to start a bigger sell off and then maybe correct down towards the 20 weekly moving average, which right now is also updated here at $40,600. So you can see that also here the 20 weekly moving average is coming higher and higher and that of course is very bullish also in case that we're gonna see here a breakout to the downside from this ascending triangle. In my opinion, the 20 weekly moving average would be the worst case scenario and it's exactly lining up here at 40K. So although the weekly is looking extremely bullish, my friends, even for the worst case scenario we, that we would fall off the cliffs here. So if we would go below $54,000, I think here at the 20 weekly moving average, we will have a lot of support. And there we should then expect, of course, continuation in our bull market and then also create new all time highs very soon. If here we're going to lose right now this $54,000 support. Even the nine weekly moving average right now is lining up perfectly here with this main support. And so far we never dipped below this moving average during the whole bull market since we went above 10K. So you can see that it will be very important that we are keeping up the price above the nine weekly moving average right now here at $54,000 in order to see continuations here to the upside. Only once we're starting to dip below the nine weekly moving average, in my opinion, that could be a danger sign that we could see here a sell off down towards a 20 weekly moving average. And that, of course, would give us a very nice short opportunity, but at the same time, also a good long opportunity and buy opportunity if we would see here a drop down towards these price levels. And if this would happen right now, take it as a good buy opportunity for the long term because we are still far away from our cycle top of this bull market even though we could see here one last big pump towards 100k and afterwards see a sell-off we are still far away from our, our cycle top of this bull run my friends which in my opinion will come more towards the end of this year and will be way above 100k and now we can have a look into the ethereum chart and we can stay here in the weekly time frame because you can see that we had the most bullish weekly close ever here for ethereum we closed this weekly candle exactly at $2,080 and of course right now we are seeing here a little sell-off but overall we are still looking very bullish for Ethereum and we could even drop down here again towards 1850 and still remain bullish here and create higher lows even here in the weekly time frame and also reconfirm this previous resistance as a new support and if we go down into the daily time frame 
you can see that of course here the daily time frame is looking a bit overbought and exhausted so we could see here maybe a retest of the 9 or 20 daily moving average at around 1850 but overall ethereum is again looking very bullish and i think that here we're gonna see big pumps incoming very very soon although some other altcoins will perform for sure very nicely maybe even outperform bitcoin but since my altcoin portfolio is almost everything in ethereum i'm very bullish here for ethereum and i think that just buying ethereum in my opinion is enough to profit a lot here in this upcoming altcoin season and here of course we're gonna see big pumps and also maybe even outperform uh, bitcoin a lot here in the next coming days and weeks if we're gonna see this continuation of this bitcoin dominance falling because we are still dropping down and the target would be here at least to reach first it is 55 percent and then maybe even go lower towards 50 percent and that of course would lead into a huge altcoin season and i think ethereum will profit the most of this potential big altcoin season that is coming up and even here in the lower time frames you can see that right now we are consolidating and there is a very high chance that also here we're gonna see continuation to the upside but even if from this consolidation phase right now we would fall to the downside this $1,850 should hold as a very strong support so even if the price would fall off here from this symmetrical triangle then try to catch some more ethereum here at around $1,850 or look for good long opportunities at this price points because keep in mind that over on Bybit and Femex you can also trade Ethereum and since there are some challenges coming up here on Bybit and of course also over on Femex you can trade here basically everything and it will be counted on these challenges so like that you can also have the chance to win something from the price pool which at the moment is here at around 200,000 dollars so definitely sign up to all of these trading events if you are anyway trading over on bybit and femex and if you still need an account over on those two exchanges that i'm also using then use my referral links to sign up to those exchanges because with my invitation links you will get some extra money some extra bonus and of course you support the channel otherwise if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage but you want to try to multiply your bitcoin portfolio then try out prime xpt because here we have this unique co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders here you don't need kyc nothing just sign up with my invitation link then also use these promo codes down here and you can immediately start to copy trade other successful traders and if you catch the right ones you can of course do a lot of gains here as well without doing anything and now before we're gonna wrap this up my friends let's go over to the dxy because the dxy is having right now a little breather to the upside we bounced exactly at the nine daily moving average so we didn't even come down here to test the 200 daily here at around 92 dollars and 40 cents so we are still in an uptrend here in the daily time frame in the dxy but overall i'm still expecting here somewhere a big rejection and then a potential drop at least down towards this support that in theory we have now and we still have to confirm it here at around 92 dollars and 40 cents and if this one will not hold i think we're gonna see a complete retracement back down towards 90 dollars and that of course would be very bullish for the crypto and stock market but at the time of recording right now we are still pumping and we are gonna have to see what will happen once we're reaching here these 93 dollars and 58 cents because this in my opinion will be the next huge resistance that we have here for the dxy based from this channel that we are in right now and if we go over into nasdaq you can see that also here we are still pumping so that is a very bullish sign also for the crypto market because if nasdaq is able here to continue to pump and also create new all-time highs this also is very much in favor for the crypto market and that's why if nasdaq is starting to pump again towards new all-time highs this also will fire up even more the crypto market and nasdaq is looking very bullish right now we are closing candles above all the moving averages we also broke out from this resistance here thirteen thousand dollars and after we got here several buy signals i'm very bullish and i'm also looking forward here to see new all-time highs 
very soon. So even though on Bitcoin right now and the same also overall in the altcoins, we are seeing a little pullback, at least here in the lower time frames. I'm still expecting here very soon continuations to the upside. So take it as a good long and buy opportunity, this dip that we are seeing right now. Even if we drop down towards $54,000, take it as a good long and buy opportunity because I'm still leaning more to the bullish side that here we're going to see a big breakout to the upside towards new all time highs mm -hmm. and that that potential sell off below $54,000 down towards the 20 weekly or 200 daily moving average will not happen right now. So let's wait and see what will happen. But in my opinion, we are gearing up here for a big move to the upside very soon. So with that said guys, we're going to wrap it up for now. A big shout out again to our great crypto trading chat here on Discord. If you want to join our crypto community here on Discord, make sure to use the invitation link that you find down below here in the description. Once you have clicked on this invitation link, you go here to read first, click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're a human and not a bot. And like this, you have free access to the trading chat. And if you also want to get access to my indicator, which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin in different time frames, then you have to give a little donation. Therefore, you can contact me directly here on Discord. Otherwise, just get here a membership over on YouTube. And like this, also you have free access to this live stream indicator on Discord. So if you like the content, my friends, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos and we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.